today in music history. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the year in music, 1961. Let's get started. 1961, American music is in pre-British invasion mode. Elvis is back from the army and begins to focus on his movie career and Judy Garland makes her comeback, rebounding from an almost decades-long stint of drug and alcohol abuse. Judy Garland returns to the stage in April 1961 at New York's Carnegie Hall. The night turned out to be what some have called the greatest night in show business history. The entire concert was captured live and released on a double album recording and spent 13 weeks at number one. It was certified gold and also won four Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year, making Garland the first woman ever to win the award. The musical landscape in 1961 was slowly shifting, but doo-wop and 50s rock and roll would not go quietly. Artists like Bobby V and Ricky Nelson carried the torch for Buddy Holly after his untimely death. R&B was slowly emerging, and dance crazes were just months away from being born. Meanwhile, across the pond in Liverpool, the Beatles play their first gig at the Cavern Club. Over time, the boys in the band would play close to 300 shows at this legendary venue. And Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and Brian Jones move into a London flat and set off on their own musical adventure that would eventually bring the Rolling Stones to America. Socially, back home in 1961, a group known as the Freedom Riders take their first ride to help reverse discrimination and segregation in the South. In a speech on television and public interest, FCC Chairman Newton N. Minow describes commercial television as a vast wasteland. He might have been onto something there. And President Kennedy announces his goal to put a man on the moon before the end of the decade. And it only took eight years to pull it off. Music on film in 1961. West Side Story starring Natalie Wood. Blue Hawaii with Elvis Presley. And Babes in Toyland with Annette Funicello. And born in 1961. Vince Neil from Motley Crue, fantastic female singer, Melissa Etheridge, and punk rock vocalist, spoken word performer, and overall badass, Henry Rollins. That's it for 1961. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with your friends so they know we're out there. And if you've got a year you want to hear about, leave us a comment below. See you next time on the next Today in Music History.